All right, we're going to take a look at the HTX-22 HDX from Onkyo. It's a 2.1 surround sound system. And we're going to explore some of the connections on the back of this powered subwoofer. And hopefully this information is going to help you decide if this product is right for your situation. The back panel has a total of three HDMI inputs, one HDMI output. So this subwoofer needs to be located in very close proximity to your television, probably right below your television. The package, the HTX-22HDX package, comes as a 2.1 system. It comes out of the box with the two speakers. But it will support a total of five speakers, which Dolby Surround Sound usually outputs the audio track in five speaker and one subwoofer formats, hence 5.1. So the speaker connection points are for the center channel, the front pair, the front left and front right, and the rear panel. So if you have speaker wire running to uh, behind the viewer, where the viewer is sitting, then by all means add some speakers. And when I talk about adding speakers, there's a small chance you might have speakers already. This module is stable uh, with speakers 6 ohms up to 16 ohms. And if you own speakers already and think you might want to add them to the system, just flip your speaker around and look at the label on the back. It'll tell you how many ohms that speaker is. Uh, if your speaker is 4 ohms, don't connect it to this module because you're going to ruin something. And we'll take a look at some audio connections here. Uh, there's a lot of connectivity on the back of this subwoofer in actuality. You can put a lot of devices on here. You would want to use this digital coaxial audio input uh, to connect an audio device. And let me explain in a little greater detail. <clears throat> if you have a CD player and it has a digital coaxial output, you might want to connect the CD player to this input right here. This is just a coaxial cable, a 75 ohm coaxial cable. You can buy it at a retailer, you can buy it online, uh, and you can use that. Or the more popular format is the digital optical toss link. If you're unfamiliar with what that cable looks like, please visit our website. The link is right below this video. Look for connection cables and then look for digital optical toss link. It'll show you a picture of it and it'll talk about what the cable does and what the cable does not do. Now right below those audio inputs is this actually what is an output for a remote control. Now with this product, Onkyo allows you to purchase some extra upgrades, uh, one being an iPod dock and the other being a DVD player, an Onkyo DVD player. And the benefit of having those with this system is that the one remote control that comes with this system can control those other devices through this remote control dock. Now here are two more audio inputs. These are analog audio inputs. They are the red and white audio cables that you know we're all pretty familiar with with electronics that we have in our homes and we buy. So you can put those here as well. Now let's take a look a little bit at the remote control. All right, here's what the remote looks like. It's got the most basic connections, such as the volume control, the listening mode, you know, if you're watching news, one mode, if you're playing a game, another mode, and then your input selector. You know, we just looked at all the various inputs. Down here at the bottom, if you decided to upgrade and buy the Onkyo DVD player or the iPod dock, then you would have some extra control features available to you down here. Okay, back to the front of the subwoofer, just to take a look at some of the features. It has a base reflex port on the right side, and it has a base reflex port on the left side. So you want to keep these ports unobstructed to make sure the sound quality you're enjoying is the best that this unit can produce. Also, this right here is the remote control 
receiver window. Now, when you look at this unit in your home or your business, you're not going to necessarily see that window, but the remote control needs to see that window, otherwise it won't work. Here's a display window that'll tell you when it's turned on, volume, what input and listening mode, and things like that. And of course, on the top, you've got a power button, input button, listening mode, and volume control, just like the remote. The speakers that come with this package are 6 ohms. The amplifier built into the subwoofer outputs 25 watts. If you add a speaker that is higher than 6 ohms, the amplifier is going to put out less watts per channel. Now, 25 watts per channel is actually pretty loud. But you're probably not going to want to listen to this at the highest volumes. Basically, this system is going to allow you to enjoy surround sound and it's going to enhance your current TV speakers considerably. So at a price point of $300, you're not doing too bad. Now the dimensions of the subwoofer module as they're listed by OnQ, basically the subwoofer is a little bit over eight and a half inches uh, wide and the height is just over 13 inches and the probably the most important depth would be the depth uh, dimension, which it's listed here at just over 12 inches. However, when you plug in an HDMI wire, you're probably adding up to 3 inches to that already 12. So a good rule of thumb is to allow for 16 inches of space from the front face of the subwoofer to the wall. Um, that's quite a bit of space actually. We don't sell this product. As a matter of fact, we don't really sell any product. But we try to provide very useful information so that you can make a decision whether this product is going to be suitable for your application. The price point of around $300 uh, makes it a really nice product where you can enhance the TV sound. But here's what we ask you to do. If you found the information useful, on our YouTube channel is a button where you can go to our Facebook page and we ask you to like our Facebook fan page and let your friends and contacts know that we provide good valuable information. Uh, if you want to receive future product reviews of home electronics please subscribe to the our YouTube channel and if you'd like to uh, find out more information about a whole variety of home electronics. The link is right below the video, so please visit the site. Thank you.